This is a Bible study designed for you to learn the truth of God's Word. And today, if you just happen to be tuning in and you're about to turn the channel and believing that you're going to hear another religious program, I want you to wait just a minute because what we're going to talk about is definitely not religion. But it is something that could change your life. I want to share with you some things uh, that Jesus taught, but not from a religious perspective, but from a practical, everyday perspective, something that will help us as we go through life. Now, in Revelations chapter 19, verse 16, it says, On his robe and on his thigh was a name written, King of Kings and Lord of of lords. Now that's what we're going to talk about today, the king and his kingdom. The king is Jesus. His kingdom is what we're going to focus on mostly today. It's kingdom, the kingdom of God is what Jesus came here to teach and we're going to see that in the scriptures. He came to proclaim the kingdom of God, not a religious system. He didn't come teaching religion. In fact, if you read through the scriptures, you'll find that Jesus was against the religious people of the day. That's the ones that he came against. He had, they came against him because he was eating with, with sinners and, and, and people that were drinking and living a life that the religious people didn't believe that he should associate with. Well, we're going to look into the scriptures and see just what did Jesus come here for? Not what we've heard through religion, but what is in the scriptures. See, the, the scriptures themselves tell us that you will know the truth, and the truth that you know will set you free. Well, there's a reason that you don't know the truth of the scriptures. And the scriptures tell us, tells us exactly what that reason is. We're going to look at, uh, if, you, if you've been living in this world system and it doesn't seem to be working for you, in fact, it can seem very much to be working against you. That's what was happening to the people in, in Israel at the time Jesus came. They were living in, in a world system and under a world system that was not working for them. So I've got some good news for you. If this system, this world system, has not been working for you, there is another system that you can be a part of that is designed especially for you. Now, it's not a system of religion. It's not a system of government. It's a kingdom that Jesus is king over. Now, when he came, he came proclaiming the kingdom of God. It, actually, what he proclaimed was the good news of the kingdom of God. See, it's good news to you if you're in an economic system where there's prosperity all around you, but you're not participating in the prosperity. See, religion is something that is designed to keep you ignorant. It's designed not only to keep you ignorant, it's to make you feel comfortable in your poverty, to make you feel comfortable in your sickness, to make you feel comfortable even though you have no say in how the government is being run. So now what I want to share with you is what Jesus came to tell you was there is good news. There is another system that he wants you to participate in, a system where you can participate in it economically, you can participate in the, in the health plan of the system. You can participate in a system that provides you with assurance about your past failures being wiped out. It's a system that gives you a purpose and a reason for living today. And it's a system that assures your future. So now, when Jesus came proclaiming this new system, there were some of the religious people that came to him wanting to know what this system was about. And we're going to start our study by looking at what Jesus said to one of the religious leaders that came to him. 
came to him at night, came to him secretly because he didn't want the other religious people to know that he was talking with Jesus. And the account is found in the Gospel according to St. John, starting in chapter 3, verse number 1. And it reads like this, There was a Jewish leader named Nicodemus who belonged to the party of the Pharisees. He was one of the religious leaders. One night he went to Jesus and said to him, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher sent by God. No one could perform the miracles you are doing unless God were with him. So let's get a picture of what's going on here. Here's Jesus. This religious leader comes to him in the secret of night. And he comes to him with all of this praise, saying, uh, uh, you're a teacher, you're a man of God, you've been doing these miracles, God has to be with you, he, he, he's, he, he's proving that you're a man of God by the miracles that you're doing. Now, take note of what Jesus said to him, because Jesus didn't address what Nicodemus was saying about him. This is what Jesus said in verse 3. Jesus answered, I'm telling you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God without being born again. Now here's a man coming to Jesus saying, look, Jesus, you're a great man of God. You're doing these miracles. God has to be with you. And he's giving Jesus all of this praise about being a good teacher. And the very first thing Jesus said to him was, you have to be born again. What did that have to do with the praise that Nicodemus was giving to Jesus about being a good teacher, about God being with him? See, Jesus didn't address that because he knew the heart of Nicodemus. He knew that Nicodemus had this religious background, that he was a man of religion, that meant he was educated in the, in, in the Old Testament. He knew